Today we're going to talk about cast versus forged crankshafts, especially in the OEM market. This here is a General Motors steel crankshaft. You can see here by the parting line, see the thick webbing here. That's how you can tell if it's a forged crankshaft because of the thick webbed parting line. Uh, and you can also tell by a simple online search with the casting number. You can see here this is a typical 1182 casting number. Uh, you can type that in any, any Google or Bing search and it'll usually tell you that uh, that comes up as a GM steel crankshaft. Uh, these were produced typically back in the 70s. Uh, we use quite a few of these for stock production uh, race motors such as you know street stocks or, or something like that where they have to use a stock crankshaft with no lightning holes as you can see none of these have lightning holes in the rod throws making this a, a legal crankshaft for most applications. Um, there's still quite a few of these around We're just trying to find some in good shape. Uh, typically these are a little bit heavier. Uh, they're normally about 53 to 53 and a half pounds uh, versus a cast crank is a little bit lighter. Uh, I'll, show it up, I'll throw it up on the scale there and show you what this one exactly does weigh. As you can see on the scale this crank weighs 53 pounds. Of course this has already been uh, uh, balanced to a uh, lightweight rotating assembly so typically they're about 53 and a half pounds. Now here is your typical cast crankshaft, your cast General Motors 350 crankshaft. As you can see here you got a real real fine pointed casting line here. That will represent that it's a cast crank. See how it's real fine and defined. And you can also see the part number which this part number would be a 3932442 which signifies that it's a uh, stock 350 crankshaft. Simple, like I said, simple online search will tell you all the information you need to, need to know about these cranks. You can also see how this one is a two-piece rear seal. We'll show that the differences between the one and the two-piece, how this has a big rounded flange in the rear. This signifies that it's a two-piece rear seal crankshaft. Now here's a one-piece rear seal. You can see this is also cast crank because of the sharp forging end. No lightning holes. Here you can see the casting number. This one is, I believe, 8535. And you can also see the flange. One piece is completely different. One huge round flange. One piece rear seal. There you can see the weight of the one piece crank. It's 52.40 pounds. Um, you know they're gonna they're gonna vary a little bit, but this is a UPS scale that we use for UPS shipping. It's extremely accurate. So there you can see the differences between the one piece, the two piece, and the forged steel.